Bonanza! Horror artist D.W. Freindel invited me to his awesome South Pasadena house for a barbecue and to fill me in on what new projects he has going on. So, D.W., let's talk art. What type of artist would you say you are? Kind of like a mercenary artist, I would say. Comic books, uh, a lot of horror stuff, because that's always been what I've been interested in. People always hit you up for zombies. Zombies, you know. zombies, zombies. Oh, always zombies. I mean, do you yeah. feel like you're being pigeonholed as the go-to zombie guy? There's been a couple of days when I'm working on this stuff, and I'm like, God, I just want to draw anything other than zombies. Just drawing rotten flesh for the last, like, four years straight, it gets, it gets kind of tedious. Not that I'm knocking it, though, but I, I love it, and that's what everyone likes, so I... You know, if, if they want it, I'm more than happy to just give it to them. We're going to be cooking up some steaks today. I like juicy steak. So what I do is I use sugar, garlic salt, and pepper. And that's all you need. You could probably eat like a, a dead person with garlic salt and it would still be good. I bet. <laughs> there's a piece that, of yours that I think is absolutely awesome. It's the one where there's a guy with a robot arm and then there's another guy oh, repairing yeah. the arm. Yeah. Yeah, that was from like 1992. It was a companion piece to a comic book I was doing at the time called Cat's Eye Agency. I always just wanted to do this picture of this big hulking cyborg guy getting his arm repaired and he's just like having a bad time of it. Mm. Okay, cool. So now we're going to put the meat on the grill. <laughs> All right, okay, I'll probably this guy up here. Okay. And uh, we, we probably should finish shucking the corn. Yeah. Shucking the corn. You're gonna... well, let's talk about the Heine Gallery for okay. a minute. Bill's done a great job of corralling really good, talented artists. And, uh, and it's so hard in this city to be taken seriously because certain galleries out here that are lowbrow and they won't even touch your stuff because it's like, you know, all you do is just draw skulls and zombies and are we going to put that up? So, right. you know, and that's why Bill rocks. He, he gave a home to all these exceptionally talented artists who, uh, you know, would have a hard time showing their stuff. And uh, that's why I commend Bill, other than he's a fucking asshole. But. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this going to be smoking. It's going to be delicious. What are you working on right now? <laughs> Um, well, right now I'm working on my comic book, The Journal of Rohauser. What is Rohauser about? It's the story of a guy who basically lives in a Victorian house on top of this hill, and he's uh, trying to kind of get back into civilization because he's gone through some traumatic stuff. He's ultimately trying to go against what he thinks he is, and uh, the results can be a little bit horrific. Now, what I like to do when I eat corn like this, mm -hmm. I like to do it Mexican style. Oh. And this is gonna sound absolutely heinous and gross, mm -hmm. but I take mayonnaise and chili powder with paprika mixed in. DW, that sounds crazy. <laughs> but it's good. God, when people see this, they're gonna go, how's this guy alive with all the cholesterol? <laughs> if there was one superhero they would let you either write, draw, whatever, who would it be? I would like to do like an unknown character, like Mr. Fear. No one else is gonna say Mr. Fear. Yeah, so. that's yeah. <laughs> Stilt Man. Yeah, Stilt. Yeah, the He's, great. Yeah. Stilt Man they died. Killed Stilt they Man. killed Stilt Man. The Punisher oh. killed Axe Old Stilt oh, Man. Oh, and the Punisher. Oh my God, I would love to do the okay. Punisher. The Punisher and Lobo. He just must be fun as hell to write and draw because yep. that's just like over the top violence and gore and mm -hmm. you know beating the shit out of like Superman. You just can't beat that. Right. All right, let's see what you think. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Does it work? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try this corn, though. To me, that's the... That's what I'm intrigued about, is this mayo corn. Oh, my God. Those Mexicans. They really know yeah. their stuff. They know their corn. Wow. Delicious. There's a whole world of wonder mm -hmm. that our Mexican friends can bring us. Mm. All right, well, DW, thank you so much for coming on Bad Kids. It was thank great. you very much it for was, coming uh, on out, and I hope you enjoyed your uh, 
the uh, barbecue today. I absolutely did. It was some terrific barbecue, and I can't wait to call my dad and tell him to put mayonnaise, paprika, and chili powder on his corn on the cob. 